nothing says more about a country than its horror movies. And if any country is going to have a library full of the damn things bound up like the Necronomicon, it has got to be Japan. These guys are infamous for their eye-watering approach to horror, combining head-mincing narratives with body-mincing visuals in some of the most gnarly movies out there. From beautiful, creepy ghost stories to ultra-realistic torture porn, there's something for everyone in their back catalogue of oddities. But where do I start with such choices, I hear you cry? Well, look no further, dear viewers, as I've collated the very best of the bunch into a must list of the biggest and best titles that are absolutely essential to your cinematic experience on this here Earth. In short, you're welcome. I am the librarian Ash from What Culture, and these are 10 essential Japanese horror movies you must see before you die. 10. Tetsuo the Iron Man, 1989. Ah, so we begin with a title more fondly known as Drill Dick. No prizes for guessing why. Cue the giant metal boner, please, editor. A strange man with a penchant for metal has a compulsion to stick shiny things into his body. And after he discovers maggots wallowing happily in his rotten flesh, he runs outside and gets hit by a car. Are you still with me here? A salary man is behind the wheel who drives happily on with his girlfriend, only to find out later that the metal plague is infecting his own body. Oh yes, the metal fetishist's particular set of preferences has gotten all up inside the man to slowly turn him into a living piece of scrap metal. Eesh. As for the film itself, the special effects are particularly well constructed, and the black and white format is especially eerie, elevating the tone to David Cronenberg slash David Lynch-esque horror. Of course, the film showcases the worst possibilities of technology, never shying away as it encroaches upon the soft and squishy human form. Honestly, it is a divisive film. You'll either get it 100% or despise it completely, but it is a must-see for that very reason. 9. Pulse, 2001 we begin this movie with a Japanese university student that commits suicide, thanks to some sinister manipulations from the ever-malicious internet. He's not the only one, however, and strangely, close friends and family of the dead begin to die or just fade away, meaning that not only is a busy Japanese city quickly depopulated, but the whole world in turn. Pulse is eminently watchable and pretty dang scary. It's another in the myriad of J-horrors that gets in a good dose of ghost story goodness and doesn't need splatter to carry it off. The sorry fact of the high teenage suicide rate in Japan is touched upon in addition to the disconnection of society, the alienation and loneliness of many people and how they reach out to the internet to try and make that connection with the outer world. Having been made in 2001, you're going to have to throw your mind back to a simpler technological time period. But that is nothing to stop you from enjoying Kiyoshi Kurosawa's thrills and spills as the e-spookiness plays out. 8. Kuei 1964 Receiving an Academy Award nomination for Best Foreign Film, Quaidon already sits impressively high on the objectively good movies you should definitely watch list. The film concerns four stories, with everything from a poor samurai's attempt to fill his coin purse, to deals with snowy spectres, to a blind musician's performance, to a teacup reflection that isn't what it seems. Of course, Quaidon means ghost, and that is what all of the four stories concern. There's no gore or sensationalism in the film, and it's not particularly outright scary. But its expressionist style makes the film disturbingly eerie, almost like visual poetry. Whilst the whole run clocks in at a whopping three hours, the movie is so engrossing and weaves so beautifully between concepts, the time absolutely flies by. It is four films for the price of one, after all. 7. Jigoku 1960 Simply translated to hell, Jigoku is an assault on the senses as we descend into the underworld. A man involved in a hit-and-run accident is plagued by his crimes until he finds himself at the gates of hell, making for a whole load of diabolical imagery that is sure to get your bile rising. At the very least, it'll have you stressing about any decisions that could land you in the big old inferno down below. Jigoku is a unique film in that it doesn't seem to have any precursor in the Japanese film world. It just appeared out of the ether. Immensely influential in the world of J-horror, Jigoku set a template of nightmarish torture, gore, and sadism that the worst excesses of the genre would seek to imitate. Its influence stretches from the likes of Guinea Pig 2, Flower of Flesh and Blood, and the more recent Grotesque. But really, the film can be pinpointed as the bloody kickstarter for the violence that's characteristic of J-horror's gnarly reputation. This whole film is torture porn before the subgenre had even been invented. It's an absolute must-see for anyone who considers themselves a J-horror fan. This is where it all began, after all. 
6. Dark Water, 2002 A mother in the midst of a divorce moves into a rundown apartment with her daughter that she is struggling to keep custody of. But when strange leaks start cropping up and water damage threatens more than wrinkled wallpaper, the pair are sucked into a supernatural nightmare. A simultaneously spooky and desperately tragic film, Dark Water is another low-key movie that carefully builds up characterization and plot before the final horrible blow to your senses. In true Japanese style, it's a ghost story and psychological horror at its heart. Director Hideo Nakata uses camera tricks and manipulates a soundtrack in excellent fashion, using silence as much as sound to build an eerie, disturbing movie that slowly pulls you under. Really, Dark Water doesn't put much of a foot wrong. 5. Ringu, 1999 now, I know you all already know about The Ring, so there is no excuses for not respecting Nine Elders and getting Ringo on your watch list if you haven't caught it by now. I mean, a spooky VHS tape packed with naughty images, classic J-horror black-haired ghoul hopping out of TV sets, well-dwelling nightmares and mild ghostly peril, what's not to love? The image of the eminently terrifying Sadako coming out of the television to put some hairs on your chest has now become an iconic scene in horror movie canon. And seen in everything from Scary Movie 3 to Snickers adverts. Even with so much nonsense surrounding the legendary plot, it still retains its special power to brown audiences' trousers like no other horror movie. Ringu absolutely thrives on atmosphere. Much of it is suggestive horror. For example, we don't see how people die, but we see their faces contorted into absolute panic and terror in death. And that's to say nothing of the bizarre images burned onto the VHS tape. Really, it's a masterpiece, and one of the most popular J-horrors to break in with Western audiences to boot. Watch at your own risk, though. You never know what lies on a coffee, after all. 4. Suicide Circle, 2002 54 Japanese schoolgirls commit mass suicide by throwing themselves under a train, and so begins a mysterious spate of deaths with no real connection other than their volume. Investigations are hastily put together, and police desperately attempt to get to grips with the tragic circumstances rippling throughout the country. But what causes death on this scale? And what does a website covered in red dots have to do with it all? The year before Suicide Circle's release, 33,000 teenage suicides occurred in Japan, making it somewhat of a cold reflection on a sad reality permeating the society. Like Pulse, Suicide Circle poses a similar answer to modern angst in being connected to yourself, the environment you're in, and the people around you. It's a vast tale of alienation as much as it is a terrifying vehicle for death to play out in. Interestingly, the film is full of references and symbols, and everything is very deliberate. So keep your eyes peeled for some sweet little secrets. If you want a movie that'll unsettle you, then Suicide Circle, if you hadn't guessed by the title, will do the job. Just don't expect to feel any type of good in the aftermath. 3. Audition, 1999 Another widely well-known entry into the world of Japanese horror, Audition is one of those films whose shine is worn down the more it's spoken about, benefiting largely from knowing as little about it as possible. Not everything is as it seems with this movie, and whilst a large part of it appears to be about a lewd TV audition, there's a third-act handbrake turn that will leave your head spinning. There's got to be a reason it's on this horror list, after all. Possibly one of the most warped yet tragic characters put to screen, the story of central love interest Asami is one that constantly has you guessing as to what's really going on inside. Plenty of directors, including Hostel director Eli Roth, have testified to the film's influence upon their work, and also to the nerve-shredding effect the later scenes had on them. A critically acclaimed film and widely touted as Takashi Miike's finest movie, when it gets underway, by golly does it make an impact. No one runs away from Asami. 2. Onibaba, 1964 Both disturbing and entertaining at the same time, Onibaba is a classic slice of Japanese-fused horror which still retains its powers to scare and menace a fat 50 years after its birth. It's a story of lust, sexual tension, and greed, which ends in bitterness and revenge through the mechanism of a bizarre samurai's mask donned by a woman who intends to use it to scare her daughter-in-law. Taking it off again, however, causes some issues. The film is minimalist in characters but lush with symbolism, and uses black and white stock to its fullest effect. Strictly adult fare, Onibaba manages to evoke horror in the viewer through our imagination and the vivid hardships of feudal Japan as much as it does its creepy visuals. Featuring a fair amount of nudity for those of you who like your scares with a healthy dose of fleshy bits, Onibaba is not just a horror masterpiece, it's an all-round cinematic experience. 1. Juon, 2002 
Better known as The Grudge by American remake standards, original still stands as best when it comes to Juan, which is quite possibly the most malevolent haunted house story in the world. With a plot concerning numerous people who are affected by rage emanating from a haunted house, all sorts of drama goes on with a building populated by a spooky little boy and a woman in desperate need of a lemsip. With a home that repurposes its horrors and enacts them back on residents in increasingly horrifying ways. Juon is scary because it totally plays it straight and goes for all-out chills. Anyone associated with the house dies horribly, and the aforementioned spooky duo of Toshio and Kayako have to be some of the scariest ghosts ever committed to celluloid. Masterfully, the film doesn't need a lot of locations or a lot of blood to be effective, and repeated viewings do not lessen the fright factor. If you've never given yourself a sleepless night over Juon, then treat yourself. The Grudge has got nothing on this horrifying masterwork. And that's our list. What other Japanese horror movies belong on this list? Remember, this is for the big names, so if you're interested in underrated Japanese gems instead, or have any entries you think really deserve a shout out, let me know in the comments section below and I can carve up another lovely list for you. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.